Andreessen Horowitz has pledged roughly $350 million to Adam Newman's new venture in residential real estate called Flow through their venture firm, A16Z. The investment will be the largest check written for a single round of backing in the fund's history. All the money flowing into Adam Newman's new company, Flow. The former WeWork CEO and co-founder receiving a $350 million check from venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. It's the largest check the firm has ever written in a funding round, according to the New York Times. This is a huge deal because of Adam Newman's ugly exit from WeWork. And a lot of issues within the company had come to light after he resigned. For one, WeWork had a multi-class stock structure which gave Newman more power than the company's shareholders. He was able to maintain control because the Class B and Class C shares he owned each had 20 votes to every one vote regular shareholders would get for their Class A shares. On top of that, his authority allowed him to enact a number of non-standard financial practices that would seem pretty unethical. For instance, Newman was privately buying property that he then leased to WeWork. And at the same time, he was borrowing money from WeWork at little to no interest. So the company was paying him rent while lending him money. That wasn't the last of it. WeWork paid Newman nearly $6 million to change its name to the We Company, which was a trademark that Newman owned. The man found a way to come up every chance he got. Smart move on his part. But that definitely sounds like a huge conflict of interest, no matter how you spin it. Even though he was forced out of the company he built from the ground up, his exit deal with SoftBank paid him over $1 billion in exchange for a majority of his WeWork shares, including a $185 million consulting fee. Not too shabby considering WeWork had just lost $1.6 billion on $1.8 billion in revenue the previous year. However, it is not lost on the venture capitalist that Adam Newman remains an audacious entrepreneur who has the confidence and vision to take a startup from inception to unthinkable heights. And by partnering up with Andreessen Horowitz, he has put himself right back in the game. So let's talk about Flow. The idea behind Flow is to redesign the rental housing market by creating a brand of product with consistent service and community features. Flow will own and operate the properties purchased by the company and also offer its services to new developments and other third parties. Newman has already purchased thousands of residential units in Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and Nashville. Flow will operate as a very different business model from WeWork. WeWork's model involved renting office space on a long-term basis and then re-renting it to clients at higher rates for shorter terms. But the problem with this is that it creates substantial risks if WeWork was unable to find renters. In the case of Flow, the business can operate as a landlord or it could attract other landlords to team up with Flow for their properties. Similar to the way an owner of a hotel might contract with a branded hotel chain to operate his or her property. There are economical and social benefits that are driving more people to rent homes rather than buy them at a time when there is a housing shortage. Here's a statistic. A third of Americans rent their homes and more than half of Americans living in urban areas are renters. With an increase in work from home jobs, millennials are encouraged to live a more nomadic lifestyle instead of settling down in one city for an extended period of time. And Flow is taking full advantage of this trend. Adam Newman tested the waters in residential real estate market during his time at WeWork. At the time, the company created a division called We Live that offers short-term rentals and community-centric experiences. Like We Grow and Rise by We, the business was a failed experiment and quickly shut down. His large ambitions often took WeWork away from its core focus. Newman has admitted that he made the mistake of expanding into too many areas too quickly. He said he learned his lesson and this time it will be different. Mark Andreessen wrote a blog post in support of Newman's new venture recently. He said, quote, we understand how difficult it is to build something like this. 
And we love seeing repeat founders built on past successes by growing from lessons learned. For Adam, the successes and lessons are plenty. And we are excited to go on this journey with him and his colleagues building the future of living." End quote. Needless to say, Adam Newman is back with a vengeance to prove all the doubters wrong. This time, he has the backing of another giant player in A16Z. Has he matured as an entrepreneur and leader? Will this time be any different? Flow won't launch officially until 2023, so only time will tell. But even if it doesn't work out as planned, he would still own tens of thousands of income producing multifamily properties that will most likely appreciate in value over time. Not a bad spot to be in as an entrepreneur if you ask me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below on whether you think Adam Newman has learned from the mistakes he made at WeWork. And as always, the outcome is income. Let's get that money.